and exclude freshmen and just say newcomers sometimes their first game here um, maybe they struggle to get into a rhythm or, or things maybe don't go their way the first game and that wasn't the case for you tonight what, what, what was it about you that allowed you to have the success you did and did you feel good earlier did you have a conversation with anybody um, yeah, I mean, guys are obviously telling me, you know, this is just another game. Um, I came here for games like this, so um, I just go out there and understand that it's basketball at the end of the day. Um, I work on my game enough to, you know, have confidence in myself. My teammates have confidence in me, so um, I'm going to just go out there and take advantage of every opportunity and, and, you know, just enjoy the moment. And for you two, you guys got down, you were up 20, you got down five, and really kind of knuckled down and got it done. How does this feel? I know Coach Self tonight tied Fog Allen for the most wins in Kansas history, so you guys are a part of that. Uh, it was fun. It was a fun game, but you know, all the credit goes to the student section, the crowd. You know, they was super. They was lit tonight, and you know, they gave us the juice in the first half, and then the last what five, four minutes, they gave us some juice. So, all the credit goes to them. Yeah, no, I mean, like Juan said, I mean, like we don't we don't win that game without the fans. Um, you know, they could have easily been down when when they when they uh, you know came up in the game late, uh, but they really gave us that energy. I think we really fed off it. Um, obviously, you know, we got stops when we needed to and we executed when we needed to, but um, guys like, um, you know, Juan, guys like Zeke, AJ made big plays at the end of the game when, you know, when we needed the most. Real quick, Hunter, how do you feel? Are you, are you spent? I know, I was tired out there. <laughs> Zeke, you mentioned coming here to playing games like this. Are there any moments <coughs> over the course of the night that stood out to you at all? Uh, I mean, the entire game was honestly just something I've never been a part of. So, you know, just to be out here and experience these kinds of games and these moments with, you know, the guys around me. Um, I'm truly blessed, truly honored um, to go out there and compete. Juan, just what did you think about? How was he play tonight? Uh, keep shooting the ball, man. Keep shooting. Uh, today, really, like in the first half, Devontae, Devontae Graham, he, he you know, y'all saw him back behind our bench. He, he, he even told me to tell Zeke to keep shooting. So I even told him to keep shooting, but you know, that's what he do. You know, he's the best shooter on our team, and we need him to do that. You know, but, you know, today show why he probably one of our best players on the team. So he got to keep it up. I think we believe in our coach, believe in him, and he got to keep it up. I think we believe in him. So Hunter and Dewan, there was a game last year. Most of these type situations where you guys would have played 37, 38 minutes. Tonight you both play around 29. How much more did you maybe have in the tank because of now you guys have a bench? Um, down the stretch when, you know, close game? To be honest, I do not like it. I like playing, but <laughs> we, we beat this year, so I understand. So I don't even got to make a lot of plays. You know, I barely even did anything in the first half. So and they did all the work, so I just fallen behind them. So they made it easier for me. Yeah, no, I mean, I think once I get my conditioning back from, from being out of like two, three weeks, it'll be, it'll be all right. But for right now, it's still a little tired, even though in the, in the limited minutes. Hunter, the other thing with the spacing you have with Azik and, and Ryland and some of those shooters now, how much easier was it for you to one establish position with there not being a guy right here waiting for the ball, and, and also when you got the ball, I mean, you got times where you could take four dribbles and, and get there. I don't think you had that many times last year. How, how much easier is it just for you to, to operate with shooting around? I know, you know, it, it almost feels a little weird when I had so much space, but. Uh, I got so much confidence in these guys to make shots. You know, I see it every day in practice and workouts. Guys like Zeke, guys like David, guys like Ryan, Ryland, AJ. I got, you know, superior confidence in them, even Juan. Um, you know, I, I feel like, you know, if I throw it out there and make sure to double team me, I feel like all these guys can hit the shot. So Juan, did tonight kind of have that March feel to it with the intensity, with the crowd, just with both teams kind of going back and forth down the stretch? Another blue blood matchup. Y'all already know how those go. Back and forth game, you know. We knew they was gonna bring it in the second half, but you know, we just had to keep our composure late game situation. So it was fun. The atmosphere was great like always. And I'm just blessed that I had another year. So I'm just I'm just happy that I'm here. So you enjoy that dunk? Oh uh, yeah, I, I, I was hoping he didn't jump. I thought he was gonna go walk. I had to get up a little good up one time though, the old man. So it was I was it was, it was good. Uh, yeah. Oh, go ahead, Dennis. Yeah. Dewan, Dewan, specifically about the March thing, did it feel like that championship game two years ago? Because it had both teams came back from big deficits. Yeah, to the totally backwards this year. But, yeah, I mean, we need games like that to get better, you know, get better before we play Michigan State next, right? So we got to get better for them. You know, we probably won't have film next practice. And we
we needed that, you know, they're, they're a top 10 team for a reason. And we'll probably see them down the road to March again, so you never know. So it was, it was great for us. And Juan, that dunk you had, obviously, right after that, you picked up your fourth foul with over 10 minutes to go. You had to come back in. They cut it to two with eight minutes to go. Just kind of talk about the conversation with Coach Self and, and kind of your mindset playing with four for so long. Uh, it really wasn't a conversation. He just looked at me. All the coaches that looked at me just told me to be smart. You know, I've been playing here for a long time. I, playing college basketball for five years, and, you know, I just had to use my head and don't use my hand, just be smart. That's all it was. Hunter, on that last shot by Carolina, they didn't call a timeout, and I think you ended up being on him, didn't you? Yeah. Morning, yeah, yeah describe the play, on your defense on the play, and Zeke, what do you think of how that play developed it? Yeah, well, Coach had switched five, and so, um, you know, I knew there was going to be some type of ball screen, and uh, they, they set the ball screen, and I was just like, man, I, I got I to gotta give him my all on this play. I, I can't let my teammates down, and, um, you know, fortunate for us, he, you know, he missed the open look, and, um, you know, we came out there with a win. I feel like there was some ball gallon magic with that one. Zeke, you had the play, you, you had missed some threes, but you had the play where you made the contested shot in the paint kind of between a couple guys. What was going through your mind on that one, and how are you able to find that angle to shoot it there? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, missed a couple, you know, easy threes that I should have knocked down. But um, I, I, I'm never gonna put my head down about missing a shot. Um, I, I drew, I drew, <clears throat> I tried to draw RJ on the foul, um, so I, I put up a pump fake, and he didn't, he didn't fall for it. Um, I just put it up. Um, felt like I got, you know, hit a little bit, but the rest didn't call it. So just played through contact, put it up there, and you know, God, God did the rest. Zeke, you said earlier that the guys told you that this was just another game. You're from Lawrence, man. This is just another game. I mean, to be real with you, yeah. I mean, everybody <laughs> wants me to say no just because I'm from here, but I mean, it, it's hoops at the end of the day. Um, you know, I'm playing for such a prestigious program, prestigious coach. Um, but I mean, I'm just, like I said, man, I'm blessed to be out there, have an opportunity to play alongside such a great team, play for such a great coaching staff um, in front of such great fans. So my only my only job is to go out there and take, take advantage of that. Anything else for the players? Shay, real quick. Real quick. Okay. Go ahead, Shay. Just a For any of you guys, you're up 20 and then down five. How do you stop from not panicking? What does Coach say? I mean, is there, it's not a five point play. So how do you go about just taking it one play at a time? Uh, I think, I mean, it's really hard to lose confidence when you're playing in out field house. Like, no, no matter what the score is, like, even when we're down three and, and uh, Washington was going to the line and we were in the timeout, like, Guys still felt confident because you know we're playing an outfield house. Like, um, like stuff's gonna happen. You know, ebbs and flows throughout the game. But like at the end of the day, it's all about making plays, executing. You know, when when you need to. And I think we did that out there. All right, thanks, fellas. Thanks, fellas.